next we'll come the we discuss about the application of flow nets okay then the main first application is to determine the seepage now our our main criteria is to find out the seepage from the flow net structure next from the assumption 3 we know that all our flow follow the darcy's law equation and that is q equals to k i a and we consider our element this one its head is del h head difference is del h and its length is l that's why i will be del h by l okay a is the width b and we consider the unit thickness unit thickness okay that's a b into 1 because we consider a unit thickness now a term introduced that is nd nd is the number of total head drop means total head drop means from this structure total head drop 1 2 3 okay that's why we consider a flow net structure suppose the total head drop is nd and in previous we know that the uh, the head drop in total structure is capital h means the loss of head is capital h then we can say nd into del h del h is the head drop in each point and nd is the head drop in total number of head drop then total number of head drop into each point is del h then the total head drop capital h equals to nd into del h then del h equals to h by nd